Hey everyone, Jackie Jean with Jean Photography here and I'm going to just edit a couple different images and show you how I get my rich greens in, in my images. So I'm going to be using the Wonder Collection and this is straight out of camera and I'll show you which ones I'm going to use. So I've got this, just picking images that do have a lot of green in it and then this one right here and this one. This one's got a lot of yellow which sometimes happens when in, when the sun's really bright on the green so sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain to fix. Alright so this one we're gonna do first and I'm gonna run Breezy Winter on it. Go ahead and press play and now I'm gonna open my layers. As you can see this is the whole group Breezy Winter for the action and richness is going to have where it kind of brings in that rich color right there. But I am actually going to scale it back because it's a little too dark for my taste. So I'm going to bring it down to about 70%. I'm going to click on my mask. And then I'm just going to brush it off of her a little bit. I'm going to reduce my opacity. There we go. A little bit off there, around her. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to mask a little bit of the, the cooling tone. When I say the cooling tone, as you can see right there, that's where I really get all those rich greens right there. But I want to still keep her skin a little bit on the warm side. So I'm going to reduce my opacity to about 26 and just mask her skin in. There we go. All right, so we've got before and after. So we got some nice rich greens right there. All right, so now we're going to go to the next one. And this one, we're going to give it more of a matted effect. So we've got the matted breezy winter. Go ahead and press play. As you can see there, it's still giving those greens that richness, but we've got more of that matte effect happening again. You can mask off some of that richness. And I've got it at 20%, 26%, excuse me. I'm going to get some of that tone back on her, keep the warmth in there. Kind of keep the warmth on the dirt too. And then I'm going to reduce the overall richness to about 82 percent and then adjust the overall to about 92 percent on that matted breezy winter. Go ahead and merge my layers together and show you the before and after. Before, after. Okay, so this next one, I'm going to run the action, and I'm also probably going to add a couple of tweaks here and there. So we're going to run the breezy winter again on this, like we did on the others. I'm going to mask in the richness off their skin a little bit off of their clothes too, as you can see there. And this time I'm actually going to duplicate the richness layer. So and now I'm going to actually reduce that opacity. Mask in a little bit more off of them. Now what it does, as you can see, is with that richness layer, it does add a little bit of saturation. So we've got a lot of yellow right here, so I'm just going to go to my hue saturation and fix that. I'm going to go to my yellows, just kind of decrease those a little bit. Oops. There we go, and changing the hue just a tad. All right, so we've got breezy winter right there, before and after. All right, so that's it. That was me using the Wonder Collection, the breezy winter, and the matted breezy winter. These two are like staple actions that I use for when I'm wanting to get those really rich and vibrant greens. 
Thanks, everybody.